tired, man. All day, all morning. I woke up at 5.30. For absolutely no reason. I heard you make coffee at like... Probably at 9. I tried not to be too obnoxious. It was 9, it was 9. Because I didn't eat till 10.30, I planned that a lot. I, uh, I had dreams when I played sports. This is when you know your life is going downhill. Highly competitive basketball player. I'd have dreams, it was tip off, and everybody's moving full speed, but my muscles don't work. So like I get the ball and I like go and like I don't go, or like I jump for a rebound and like I, I just get like an inch off the ground. So last night I'm at a Costco, yeah, this isn't my dream. <laughs> I'm at a Costco and uh, all of a sudden people start going crazy, but not like zombie unreal crazy, like just like kind of real crazy. I'm like, hmm, I should leave. So I leave and then there's another crazy guy in the uh, parking lot and he kind of looks at me weird so I start going the other way. And then I grab my phone and my phone doesn't work. And then all of a sudden now my, like he hits me and my body doesn't work. And then I wake up at five o'clock. What am I supposed to do? And once I'm up, I'm up. So that's it. What you're supposed to do is just roll right over. I can't. Over. Especially when I go like this. Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike back with another video today. I've become a weightlifter. The snatch. We're learning the snatch. Ben said I had to do it. I didn't want to do it to him, but I bung up. Uh, uh, I said bung up, but I meant banged up. I hang up on you, or I was hung up. I'm gonna talk to Webster and make sure that we can say we bung up my wrist. So I bung up the wrist, and so the cleans, they were going really smooth and they're feeling really good. Uh, but now there's like a mental block and a pain barrier from catching with this left side. Um, so we're still doing them. They're just not being pushed as hard. I think I would already clean 140 by now. It's coming. Um, but Ben wanted to teach me the snatch, which again, I did about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and it felt okay. Uh, but now my overhead position is a little bit better as I'm not focusing purely on the bench press anymore. When I first dove into weightlifting, I was really trying to power lift and then kind of learn weightlifting. And then right now where I am is I'm just trying to be healthy, get a little bit stronger, get my legs back under me and really learn weightlifting. So I'm not opposed to getting rid of a little bit of bench press strength to get that overhead position. Um, I'm still doing some dumbbell press, you know, three times a week to keep the pecs nice and warm. But other than that, like I'm not too stressed about it. So the movement of the snatch, very, very similar to the clean in terms of the triple extension, kind of how you actually move the barbell and move your body. Um, it's just going straight overhead rather than to your, your shoulders. Um, squats, again, still pushing hard, really high frequency, pretty high intensity. Um, we may have to start to bake, uh, you know, break that down a little bit. My knees are getting a little sore. I'm getting a little old. Um, and it's not because squats are bad for your knees. It's just too much too soon, just overdoing it. Um, I'm bike riding everywhere I go uh, and then squatting you know, whatever, five times a week might be too much for me. So I'm thinking in my head what the plan of progression will, because of the clean, uh, the rack in the clean isn't my strongest, uh, that I'll start to maybe front squat twice a week, back squat twice a week, one kind of clean snatch pull, and then one deadlift a week. And I think that'll be optimal frequency. And again, I'm not on a, a strict program. I'm, I'm using kind of philosophies and things I've had in my mind over the past. Trash man's here. I'm like an ADD cat, you know. Uh, and so I'm using the I'm using some philosophies I have and just slowly progressing. But most importantly, is I'm having fun and I'm healthy. As always, you know, when anyone you can take any goal, whether you're a sports athlete, a weightlifter, powerlifter, strongman, and I think there's going to be like six variations or six movement types with variations that you have to accomplish um, if you want to be optimal. That's some kind of squat. Some kind of hinge, which is like a deadlift, stiff leg, et cetera, et cetera. The clean and jerk and the snatch, or the clean, excuse me, and snatch would fit into those categories mostly, um, even though they're kind of a combo of a hinge and a squat beside the point. Um, a vertical press, right? Like a strict press, a jerk, a push press, something of that nature. A horizontal press, it could be dumbbell, bench press, push ups, even, even chest press machine. Um, horizontal pull, which would be a chin up, pull up. Um, pull down, anything of that nature. And then a horizontal pull, which would be some kind of row. Uh, and then in my head, I just pick my favorites of those. I see what needs the most amount of work, what overall stimulus it's adding, right? Because if I'm going to do some kind of hip hinge three times a week, um, doing three clean variations for my body and my strength is much different than me doing three heavy deadlift variations. And then on top of all of these, right? Then we have the volume, the frequency, 
And then we have the intensity, right? How heavy, how close to our one rep max, how hard are we pushing? And even though I may push hard to my one rep max and my clean, what I could do for that day, the overall systemic fatigue is much different uh, than if I was doing a deadlift, right? A 600, 650 pound deadlift conventional is going to add more stress to my body than potentially a 100 kilo or 220 pound clean. Um, and that's literally how I break everything up and, and programming is just that. You have all these tools, you have all these pieces and then it's plug and play depending on your goal, depending on your feeling, depending on the season, depending on the athlete, depending on their experience and how they adapt. And right now I'm not that worried about what's uh, perfectly adapting. I, I, I want to get a little bit more of my muscle back. I want to keep continue to build and train heavy. And that's why I'm doing the, the heavy front squats, the heavy back squats, the heavy pulls. Um, and then we're layering in, sprinkling in the, 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 the dumbbell press, a little bit of arm work, even though that's probably a little bit counterintuitive to my front rack. Like it's not like my biceps are freaking so big that I can't clean, you know, clean properly, but like it doesn't help that my bicep mobility is not that good. Um, or I mean, you guys will get what I'm saying. Uh, but we're continuing to push on, a little bit of snatches, Little bit of overhead strict press on this day, but we're probably gonna eliminate the strict press eventually. I just wanna get into dumbbells, feel a little bit looser, and then push in, get into the push press or the jerk, which is a little bit more weightlifting standard. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give this thing a thumbs up. Solid Mike, comment below what kind of training you wanna see next, what kind of video you wanna see next. We got a couple of vlogs, training day, full day of eating, kind of full day of, of, of life, day in the life videos on the way. Hopefully you guys dig those. I appreciate you, Solid Mike, I'm out.